Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. What I want to say is, let's try this again. Let's try this again. So maybe somebody's gonna be starting over. Let's try this again. It's trying to do something again. Let's try this again. Now, um, I also wanted to mention that I did another reading over on Empress TV. It is titled, uh, The Ladies' Man versus The Gentleman, if you are interested. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Let's try this again. The Fool Reversed, Fool Reversed, first card out. The Devil, the Devil. So we got somebody here that is maybe fearful. Very, very, it looks like fearful because Devil is, is ego, is, is an ego-based card and the Fool Reversed is fear. So there, an ego is stemmed from fear. So there's some sort of fear here. There's also a, a control. There's also a poor judgment call. I wonder if somebody's made a poor judgment call. There's a need to obviously take action. Um, the devil is a card of control. Take control. Somebody needs to take control. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is a new start in love. Um... Maybe they need, somebody may need to take control of their actions. There's obviously a bond here. The devil is, a, is some sort of strong bond. But that fool reversed is naive, making a poor judgment call. So I wonder if somebody here is, is too scared. They're too scared. They're too scared to take control. And maybe they have given control away to the devil, right? You know, to uh, some, their ego. Maybe ego is controlling them and it's affecting their heart, you know? But we do have somebody here that is probably being called to take a risk, to step forward in faith, but there's some sort of ego or fear that is in the way. But anyhow, with the Ace of Cups, is there's an opportunity for love here. It's big love, expressing feelings. We have a, things, you know, a new start in love. So let's see what we got. Two of Cups reversed. Well, isn't that just handy? Nine of Wands. We have somebody here that is struggling. They are struggling. They're thinking a lot. They're thinking a lot. They're thinking about life and all the challenges that life has given them. It's interesting because in this card, we have the devil behind this person and it's going right underneath the devil. So we got somebody here that is definitely being held back. It's like they're being plagued. You know, they need to face their fears. We got somebody here that has their guard up. They are really, really thinking about um, all the challenges that they have been through. This is somebody that probably needs to give something a chance but I feel like there's some sort of, of, of fear, fear that fear in the way, fear of being judged maybe, maybe, or fear of making the, a mistake with the fool reversed. I think we have somebody here that is, is very, very fearful of maybe a partnership because next to the two of cups reversed. Um, they're, letting, they're letting their ego get in the way of love. And it feels like they've come so far. They've come so far on their journey. You know, the Nine of Wands is somebody that is very determined to stick to something. I gotta stick to this. I gotta stick to this. But, you know, sometimes the universe will throw things in your path. And the devil is like force to force you to honor your heart. And, and I know that's not coming out that way, the right way. I feel like somebody, there's something to do with a partnership that has been put in somebody's path. The Knight of Wands is a very singular energy. It's a very independent energy that has come so far. And it's like they're trying to prove something because the next card is a Ten of, 
Ten of Wands, which is trying to prove, prove, trying to prove their success. I think we have somebody here that is is probably missing an opportunity because the Fool reverse a missed opportunity. It's the first card out. Somebody may be naive. You know, they may be making a poor judgment call to let their ego control their, uh, I don't know if it's a partnership or their love life, because that's what it looks like to me. We have somebody, I mean, the devil is a card of ego. It is a card of fear. It is a card of, of um, obsession, obsessed with something. I feel like we have somebody that is obsessed with some sort of... Um, I feel like need to prove. They need to prove something. Hangman really struggling with a new perspective. Sacrificing. We got somebody here that is sacrificing themselves. They're sacrificing love. They're sacrificing a partnership for ego. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Amen is sacrifice. There's an opportunity for big love here with this Ace of Cups, but there's a detachment. It's like detaching from a partnership with the Two of Cups reverse. Choosing to be single. It's like I'm choosing with the Nine of Wands. That's a singular energy. Choosing to push something away or stay guarded. You know, that's that boundary, right? It's like setting that boundary. I'm not like I'm not gonna let it in. I'm not gonna let it in. That's fear. That's ego. That is. That is strong control you know i think somebody and the, de the devil energy is not healthy it's not healthy because love is more important than anything anyhow nine of wands nine of wands is on guard we got somebody here that definitely 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 has their guard up but I feel and I feel like they they are but they're thinking this person is really really thinking they're thinking about their future they're thinking about uh, a partnership they're thinking about love right they are five of wands reversed justice Six of Cups in the future. There's going to be a reunion. These, there is going to be a reunion in the future. We have somebody here that is going to be making a fair and just decision after they examine the facts. Somebody's going to be examining the facts. I feel like we also have somebody here that's been trying to punish. Maybe they've been trying to punish themselves or they've been punishing another person. The hangman to me, right next to the justice, uh, this can symbolize punishment. Self-inflicted, self-inflicted punishment, self-inflicted pain, right? Five of Wands reversed is some sort of competition, conflict, end of a conflict, ending conflict. Somebody has been struggling, they've been struggling, they've been struggling with a decision, obviously, because it's next to the Justice card. They've been struggling with a decision. They've been w sacrificing themselves needlessly with the, with the hangman card. Going through a period of enlightenment, so maybe it wasn't needless. Because sometimes when you take that extra time to gain a new perspective, it obviously wasn't needless. But there's a reunion here with the Six of Cups. It's like there's been some reawakened memories of love or there's going to be. I feel like there's going to be a reunion here. We have somebody here that has been ego has been letting ego get in the way of a partnership, fear, ego, uh, and strong determination to stick to something. You know, I got to stick to my guns, whatever that means. I got to stick to my guns and and not let my guard down. I think it's it's really time. I think this person has already gained a new perspective and maybe it maybe it just happened recently. Love matters. Love matters. It's all about love. I do believe we have somebody here who is really in their emotions about a partnership. Maybe uh, they were obsessed with uh, 
Control. Obsessed with control. That's what the devil is. Making a poor judgment call with a fool. Missing, missing an opportunity. Somebody has been missing an opportunity. They, they made a poor judgment call. They were in their ego. And they've thought about and they've been thinking, 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 thinking about a partnership, you know, with somebody that they have a lot in common with. This is like, there's some sort of familiarity to this with the Six of Cups. It could be a past life connection or soulmate connection or something like that. But right around the corner is love, okay? The Ace of Cups, a new start in love. A, a fair and just decision is going to be made. Somebody's making a decision. There's going to be a reunion. There is going to be a reunion here. Doing the right thing, acting with integrity, examining, examining the facts. Somebody's examining the facts. And it, and it almost feels like we have somebody here that has been struggling. They've been struggling with letting go, struggling with letting go of something, letting go of their ego with that hangman, letting go of a perception, you know, letting go of a perception. Somebody may be fighting as well. They may be picking a fight with somebody you just saying? Six of Swords. Six of Swords is going somewhere. Deciding to move. Just because it's this the justice, Six of Swords. And it could be, there could be some sort of legal, you know, uh, a person in a position of authority in the legal system that is making a decision in regards to somebody moving. Somebody may be deciding, you know, it could be a judge, you know, or something. Somebody may be a judge could be making a decision to move somebody to a better place. Just saying. But it could also be an individual that is making a decision. I mean, this is a fair and just decision. Somebody is making a decision to move on with the Six of Cups. I mean, the Six of Swords. And it's interesting because we have the Six of Swords right next to the Six of Cups. Sixes are about getting your life back on track. It's about headed towards balance and harmony. It's headed in a new direction. It's, so I do believe that we have somebody here that is, is definitely deciding to go in a new direction. They are. They're deciding to move away from some sort of troubled situation where there's been some sort of uh, mental turmoil or maybe even fighting hostilities. I do think that we have somebody here that is definitely moving. They may be, I mean, I just got to be honest, they may be forced to move. You know, the devil could be forced and justi justice could be, you know, the law forces somebody gets the law involved. There could be a fight. Just saying this, this, and I don't know, this isn't going to be for everybody. Five of Wands can be an extreme battle. could be all out war. You know, we could have somebody here that is trying to punish another person. They end up getting the law involved and somebody gets forced to move. I mean, just saying, that could certainly be in the cards here. We do have somebody here that is making a poor judgment call. First card out, full reversed. That is a poor judgment call. That is a missed opportunity. Ego and pride and obsession and uh, the need to control is causing this poor judgment call. We may even have somebody here that is drinking, you know, and they and they end up uh, going overboard. Just being honest, there's addictions here. We may have somebody here that has some addictions, and that's you know coming to the surface. But anyhow, nine of wands. This is facing some life challenges, growing weary. Um, dealing with a lot of inner conflict. We have somebody here that's dealing with a lot of inner conflict. And I think it's because there's some sort of partnership they, where, you know, there may be no love. There may be a lack of love. We may have somebody here that is very single and independent. You know, they want love, but they're, they're letting their fear and their ego get in the way of them having a partnership. They may be using some external force or some external reasoning to... Uh, 
protect them from love or whatever the case is. I feel like we have somebody here that is really struggling to gain a new perspective. But I feel there's 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 going to be some movement. There is going to be some movement. We have somebody here that is deciding. This is making a decision to move on towards peace, towards a soulmate as well. Because the Six of Cups is a soulmate. It is a soulmate. It's a it's a reunion. It's 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 reuniting with a loved one. Maybe from a past, and it could be a past life or something like that. Eight of Wands. Somebody's going to be receiving some communication or some messages. Things could be happening fast. This is ready. This is be ready. This is lots of messages coming back and forth. Increased, increased movement. There's going to be an increase of movement, maybe even an increase of intimacy with the Eight of Wands. Lots of messages coming. The Devil. Nine of Wands. There's some sort of trying to control, a need to let your guard down. Let your guard down. Stop trying to prove this point. Somebody may be trying to prove their strength. That's, you know. I mean, I feel like it's ego. There could be a separation here with the Two of Cups reversed. Right underneath it is the Five of Wands. We may have somebody here that is separating from a... Maybe they're separating from their ego. They may be separating from their ego. Or they're separating from a situation where they've been punishing themselves. This is like self-punishment. But I do feel like we have somebody here that's about to gain a new perspective. They are about to gain, and, 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 and I don't know if it happens overnight or what. There could even be a reconciliation here between two people. There could be the Ace of Cups, could be a new start in love, could be a reconciliation. I feel like there's been a separation between these two people, whether there's whether this is a past life connection or not. Maybe we have somebody here that's been growing weary. They've been trying to prove a point of some sort. But there's love right here. It's right here. It, it is. We have somebody here that needs to be honest with themselves. We also have somebody here that doesn't want to give up the fight in court and it's time to move on. So we may have somebody here that's trying to fight something in court when they should just be moving on. So I don't know whose message that is for. It's like, I have to win. I'm going to fight in court. You should just move on. So I don't, I don't, I don't like to give that kind of message, but I, it's what I heard. Look at things from a new perspective. Ace of Cups, new start in love right around the corner. Ace of Wands in the world. I was going to clarify that Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands is a new start. This is exciting. It's a new flame. It's, it's, it is. This is a spark. This is a match. This is a match. This is being shown the way. This is traveling to a new destination. It's, it is. This is the end of a chapter. It's the end of a phase. That phase of your life is over. It's time to do it. Just do it. This is just do it. Just do it. Just do it. End that phase of your life. You don't have anything to prove anymore. That phase is over. This is a completion. It is the completion that leads to a new beginning. This is leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. This is a lesson 
that has caused somebody's evolution right here. This is the end. It is the major ending that leads to an exciting new beginning. Just go for it. Just do it. That's what that is. This is the light that follow the light. So I believe that we have a major completion. Somebody has learned a lesson. They have. They're going to be uh, embarking on a new journey. Traveling. Definitely. I see traveling. Traveling towards a soulmate. Moving towards a soulmate. Leaving the past behind. Starting fresh. This is the end. It is the end of a, of a journey. Somebody is, it's, it's over. You've learned your lesson. It's time to start over. So that's what I got. I got a major completion here. Moving on, moving on, moving to a better place. Somebody, I may actually be moving, like literally moving. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. It is. This is a match and it's right over the six of cups, that ace of wands. This is a perfect match. Just go for it. Ace of wands, just go for it. Good luck. 